Hey everyone! Welcome back. I am back today with more Clone Wars, you guys. Last episode was really something. I cannot wait to get into it more and unpack it a little bit. But first off, I just want to say, if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I'm sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I am glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. And if you are joining me on YouTube today, thank you so much. I hope you will hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. So, guys, I'm, I'm really trying to be a team player with the whole Jedi Council's plan here. But guys, I cannot shake this feeling that this is cruel to Anakin. I don't think anyone at this time had any concept of just how volatile Anakin could be. Um, I don't know who all knew about like what, because I feel like not, like Obi-Wan didn't know. Certainly I don't think the council knew. But, like, who all knew about what happened after his mom died, you know? I feel like maybe it was just, like, Padme. Does... I'm trying to figure out... I clue me in, because I might be remembering this wrong, but... I feel like maybe, perhaps, like, to give them the benefit of the doubt, nobody was really aware that, like, Anakin deals with loss by going on a rampage. Or at least has that propensity. Um, certainly, I'm sure not like every single loss <laughs> triggers that, but I just feel like we better get this straightened out soon or else Anakin's going to start to take matters into his own hands. And he may have already done that. So, um, you know, last time when he came in to get, um, the, the criminal, you know, who was really, it took me a second to figure out, wait, wait is that the real one? Is it Obi-Wan? No, I guess they had set it up so that he went in and apprehended the criminal and that's how he got thrown into jail because they probably knew that he was going to go after him. So, or they, you know, he had orders to go and track him down. I don't know either way Anakin, Anakin was going to do it. I think everyone knows <laughs> he's not going to kill one of Anakin's closest friends. And yeah, like just expect him to um, not do anything about it. But is he even going to stop there, though? Because what if he doesn't? That could be really bad for Obi-Wan. And, like, how we can't tell him that it's, he can't be like, Anakin, chill, it's me. First of all, why would you believe that? Second of all, like, he literally cannot blow his cover right now. He already got really close when he wouldn't shoot some of the clones. And let me tell you, I think everyone has taken notice. You know, Cad Bane is a lot of things. He's not a stupid person. And um, I think he's already starting to have some thoughts about this new friend in their group. Um, the other guy seems on board, but I mean, you never know. I mean, they're, they're criminals, so it's like, I mean, they're, they're not just criminals. They're like people who make their living on kind of like subterfuge and getting around people, among other things. So, I mean, maybe that other guy's really not on board. Maybe they're on to him. I think Cad Bane's already on to him. So, um, yeah, guys, it's really fun. I mean, it's not always fun, but it's interesting to watch Obi-Wan in this role. Certainly, I'm really enjoying the performance, and uh, and I'm just really curious to see where it's all going, because I, I really have a feeling this is going to hit the fan. If it doesn't hit the fan here, we know it hits the fan later. Let's put it that way, because this is just another brick in the wall of Anakin's downfall like you cannot convince me otherwise why would you mess with his head like that my god it's like it's a, why don't you just like just just give him the helmet just be like here dude here you go you want a cape to go with it here you go um all right guys i want to see what's gonna happen next let's jump in next episode clone wars let's get started so we leave no trace of our crash morale we all like some man who plans ahead Moralo Ival likes talking in the third person. We need to ditch these prison fatigues. We'll have a bounty on our heads for escaping. I don't like to stand out. Which is why you wear the huge hat? <laughs> the recognizable hat? No, I need a new hat. He's just going to go for the hat, of course. That's, that's your style right there. 
makes you stand out. Thank oh, you. Uh, I wouldn't be too picky being on the run like you obviously are. You sure you want to say that to him? Oh my god. Ah! Ew! Oh! No, thank you. Oh, Obi Wan's such a good guy. He's not used to being this scummy. You find a ship, you'll get weapons. Okay. Not so fast. He wants to tag along. I'll get the weapons. It's not the same to me. Ooh. Crash the ship. You Don't. The new one. What is this? Don't poke him. What's the matter with you? It does seem fair. The real version of this guy will probably cut him in half for that. We ditch really? We'll throw him to the huts. Well, they interrogate him, we'll be long gone. Hey, where's my weapon? Won't need it. You're not coming. This is who? He doesn't want to split his fee for breaking me out of prison. And also, he despises you. Okay. Oh, uh, like they hurt my friend. Oh, poop! Dang it! Also, please don't, please don't get it. taken by the huts. Oh, dang! And now they're gonna. Oh my God! It looked like they stabbed him, but I don't think they did. I think they just knocked him out. Oh, great. What are we going to do now? Son of a gun. My partners double crossed me, but I put a tracking device on their ship. Okay. Let me down and I'll tell you the frequency. They're not going to trust them? Oh, maybe they will. But are they going to leave them alive when. I mean, we know they do, but. Well, that's what happens when you double cross someone. Our deal was you'd let me go now. The deal I... has changed. <laughs> Pray I don't alter it any further. I'm sorry I had to. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, but the thing is, Obi-Wan can get out of just about anything anytime he wants to. So, yeah. I apologize for being out of communication, but the situation was rather tenuous. Although, um, you can say that it again. Appears things may be on track soon. Here's what I need. Okay. Have the bounty on us removed. If I can win over Cat Bane, I can learn more about Evolve's plot. But there can be no more complications. So no matter what reports you hear, do not contact me or send help. Uh, and one more thing. I should need enough credits to buy a new ship. Um send money, please. Why are you removing the bounty and the three fugitives? If they're free to move, they could lead us back to the operation. Very well. Keep me apprised. And we're telling him all this. You don't trouble just... them. Oh God, please don't go to him for help. Expect me to just sit here and do nothing with Obi-Wan's murder on the loose. It is possible that they do not trust you to control your feelings. Don't, don't, don't. I killed my master, my best friend. And now he's escaping with Cad Bane and Morale Ball. And the Jedi Council won't do anything about it. I have Did it from a reliable he? source that the fugitives were last headed towards Nal Hutta. You cannot deny your feelings, Anakin. Piece of garbage. They are what make you special. <sighs> if you believe you can stop this, this plot against me, I trust you. No. Thank you, Chase. No. No. You won't regret this. Did he do this whole thing just to mess with Anakin? No, I won't. Zillow Beast. I know you're out there somewhere. Back Clone of Zillow Beast. Help us. Please eat him. Let me guess. You missed him. Oh, he's gonna kill you. You better watch out. First, I want to know where you got the credits to buy a ship. You thought you left me for dead, but the huts owed me a favor. Okay. You had them shoot us out. You would have done the same thing, Bane. The way I see it, True. we're even. A 50 50 split sounds fair to me. Over my dead corpse. 
That oh, could be a range. <laughs> that could be a range. I got a tip. The Chancellor himself. Well, Anakin, baby. Why would... How are we going to find them? Here we go. He thinks that the Chancellor just likes him and is his special friend. And... Was that? I'm sorry. Was that the axe and killer of my zero? How about we choke you? Anakin. You're, you're evil showing. Anakin means business. Is Ahsoka going to be like, Ahsoka's like worried. She's like, okay, we did what we had to do, but like, I don't like this. Say, sir. I made the promise not to tell. Anakin is on Nal Hutter. Nal Hutter. I suggest you have more faith in young Skywalker. Captain, if you must escort me home, I'm leaving now. Yes. Oh. This is exactly what Obi Wan didn't want to happen. Uh, thank you. I was just going to say that. Cover. Kill Hardin. Skywalker might. Or die trying. He may. Uh, Warn them both. You must overdo the truth. Yes. Thank you, Yoda. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we should have told him in the first place. Because if you did not expect Anakin to go off on his own and do something, you just don't know Anakin. Not only does that pit Anakin against the council a little bit. Are you sure? Who else wears a hat like that? It's a hat. You just call it attention with the hat. Also, that can't build great feelings between the council and Anakin either, because they're like, he's like, well, Anakin's getting it done and you're not. It's just too bad. We can't just all stop and think for a second. Why would Palpatine do that? Why would Palpatine give me that? Of course, he has a convenient excuse for why. He's like, well, I just, I think you could get it done. And dang it. It's my turn. No! He's, he was trying to assume control so that Anakin didn't get hurt. Because they're best friends and brothers and why did we not tell Anakin sooner? I'm going to set Anakin to acting classes before I kept this from him. Like, that was the worst idea ever. And fortunately, it sounds like they're going to tell him the truth now but still my bad there we know it won't be too late but what if it was guys what if it was would you be able to live with yourselves jedi council also i would put my money on anakin here to, if i'm being honest <laughs> oh forget me he's helping him he's helping him out oh ow, oh no ahsoka this is what happens when you lie. We're Jedi. We're not supposed to be lying, guys. Why are we lying to our friends? We're Jedi Knights. Oh, and he's, a, he's gonna take you down. Oh, this is awful. You're going to pay for what you did. You shouldn't have gotten involved. <sighs> this is for Obi Wan. Ah! Thank me later. Oh dang it! And what? So how do we? We can't. We can't. We couldn't tell him if we wanted to. He's like, I'll just punch you until you go to sleep, and then you'll be out of the way, and then nobody will try to kill you. Anakin, dang it! Anakin, follow me. Can he tell? He just choked him out. Maybe he could sense it. You know? What if he could sense it? Oh, that's so good going in. Oh, Ahsoka's just precise. Lucky we're in a hurry, little lady. Don't call her little lady. Dance time. Get your hat out of here, please. Master, are you all right? Anakin. Mm. Anakin, did you sense something, sweetheart? Do you know? Can we just can uh, it's too bad you can't it's too bad you can't like force telepathy someone. What is it? What's wrong? That. I felt a connection. Obi Wan is still alive. I I don't understand. I don't either. But we're gonna get to the bottom of this. 
Believe me. Okay. All right, guys. That was a great episode. So Anakin knows something now. <sighs> Can I just tell you that they don't make water hot enough to wash off the icky feeling that Palpatine gives me when he's like wooing Anakin. It's so incredibly gross. Um, it's, it's, it, I just, I just don't like it. I just don't care for it. And you can see him just playing Anakin like a violin. And to be honest, he's, I mean, he's playing everyone. He's playing literally everyone in the galaxy right now. But it's just like he knows everything that everyone wants to hear. You know, he knows exactly how to get to Anakin. He knows how to cover it well enough and give logical enough reasoning when others come to question him on it. Like, why the heck would you give Anakin information when Obi-Wan specifically said, leave this to me. Don't send anyone, no matter what happens, don't send help. Don't send anyone after me. Like, I have to win their trust. Um... But he had a he had a decent enough excuse as to why he did it. Like, well, you know, Anakin said he could get the job done, and I don't know, you guys aren't doing it, so I just sent him in. Maybe you should maybe you should trust Anakin a little bit more. And of course, you know, how do you think that makes the council feel about Anakin? You know, and Anakin already we already know he kind of feels that his methods are a little bit different, you know? Like, he at least feels that, like, he doesn't operate the same way that they do. Like, you could already tell it right here. And you can already tell, by the way, he's like, oh, my God, another super long, boring Jedi meeting. Also, like, relatable, friend. Relatable. <laughs> Anyone who's ever been stuck in a company meeting can relate to that feeling. <laughs> um, so... God, guys, we've gone and made a real mess of it here. And you know what? You know what is interesting to me about Star Wars in general? It's just the way that they illustrate so beautifully that it truly does take two sides to tango. You know, as awful as some of the things going on from, you know, being perpetuated on one side by the Sith and everything are, and, you know, we know that not all separatists are like bad people. We know that. But there's a lot of crap going on from the separatists. Like, we know that. But at the same time, there are points throughout this saga where you can you can look at the Republic and how they, you know, essentially got snowed or there was corruption or whatever. And you can look at the Jedi and see some of the decisions they've made that you're like... No, that was the wrong call. Or like, mm, I feel like you're kind of starting to stray from your um, calling here. You know, like I feel like, um, you know, we know eventually they get to a point where they suddenly realize just how out of touch they've been, that they didn't even sense all of this going on, you know. And I do feel like they're kind of straying further and further from kind of their original place in the universe. And you can see that more and more throughout these episodes, you know, like we're, we're using, we're using lying now. We're using deception. We're using, you know, Hmm. These don't seem like very Jedi things to do, um, to our own people, you know? I mean, it's like one thing, it's one thing. Okay. You use strategy and subterfuge and everything in war, they're in this war now, like it or not. Like, they are, we've had this discussion before that, like, they're warriors now, you know? Like, well, no, but they're Jedi Knights, but they're also warriors now, you know? Um, but really, like, tricking our own people? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Like I said, I was sent Anakin to acting school before I did this to him. That was, that was kind of messed up, guys. And on a practical note like what <laughs> what did you expect even if you don't know quite how unhinged Anakin can be like Anakin has a has a reputation for being Anakin at some level in the whole Jedi in the Republic like ask any clone who's worked with Anakin they're like ah yes the general's methods <laughs> mm-hmm like they what did you expect to happen I'm just kind of I'm just spinning my wheels now guys because I've said this all already but um at least 
Anakin knows something now. I don't, I still think he's probably going to try to go after them. I don't know. Like, he doesn't know, know that that's Obi-Wan, it seems like, and I'm just not sure what's going to happen. So, um, it looks like this is going to be at least a three-parter, so I'll be excited to see how this is going to progress if not finish up in the next episode and uh wow guys just there's just a lot to unpack here so I'll wrap it up because I could really go on all day about some of the some of the layers of stuff that's going on here but for now I'll wrap it up I hope you enjoyed watching along with me as always thank you so much for joining me today please be sure to join me next time we will watch it together bye for now guys